Hello everyone, welcome back to Studio 33 Art by Kay. Today I'm going to be doing a bloom with a drizzle wrecked edge. Um, this was something a bit different. So I've got a 20 by 20 centimeter ceramic tile. It's a gloss finish. Um, it doesn't have to be gloss. It can be a matte finish. That's okay as long as it's not rough. I'm just going to use some isopropyl alcohol just to clean the tile off. That's all the preparation that it needs. It doesn't need any gesso or anything like that. So we'll just give it a quick wipe over. And that's it, all ready to go. I don't take the back of my um, tiles when I'm doing them because I'm going to resin it later. Um, and so I'll show you that whole process in future videos. Right, so today I'm going to be using the um, Araldo Di Paolo Black as my base. It's mixed with Australian Floetrol. All of my paints are mixed with just Australian Floetrol. Um, and I will list them all in the description box. So if you click on the title to this video, that will give you a drop down box, which will have the um, description of all the paints. Okay, so let's go lay down our black base. It's lovely and shiny. I don't want to lay too much base down. Um, otherwise, my paints will sink and disappear into the paint. I just want just enough to help the um, bloom to move. So this one's looking quite nice. I hope everybody's um, staying safe and away from this nasty COVID that's been going around. And it's just nice to be able to come and do something like a bit of fluid art to make us be able to think about something else that's going on in the world. Sometimes it's relaxing in the studio and sometimes it's not. There's been moments when I've probably felt like throwing it across the room, but I haven't. I haven't done that. Okay. So that's just a nice thin layer. And I had done a um, drip test on my paints prior um, to starting today. So they're all about the same consistency. And that is where they just drizzled back into the paint container. They form a little mound for a couple of seconds and then it disappears. And I've shown that in a few other um, of my videos. Okay, so I'm just going to start layering these paints. This, this one's the Araldo Metallic Copper. Followed by the Araldo Metallic Bronze. And then my favourite, Montmartre Pouring Paint Gold. It's a little bit runnier than the others. And the Global Metallic Silver. And I think I might add a little bit more of the um, copper in there. Okay. Now I'll hit that with my heat embossing tool and that will get hopefully get rid of all the bubbles. Rightio. So now I'm going to drizzle the same paints all the way around the edge, just randomly. And we go around, try and get over the edges a little bit too, so that your edges are nicely covered. I'm just going to do a very small spin with this just to spread the paints. Um, but I don't intend to do a very big spin. 
otherwise I'd be using my little puppy pool to catch the splatters so the whole room doesn't end up covered in metallic paint. And now the silver. Okay, I really like um, the black backgrounds when we're using just these very neutral colours. Right, just hit it with the heat gun again. Now, to add a little cell activator, and today I'm using the global black with Australian flow troll to the consistency where when I drizzle it off the stick it bounces back after about four seconds so it just springs back I don't know if you can see that or not okay so I'm just going to apply that into the center sort of drizzle it around a bit so it's not a big black blob in the middle where it's going to sink down. Okay, so now I'm just going to blow that out by mouth, so excuse the back of my head. I don't think I'm particularly centered, but that doesn't matter. We don't want everything to be perfect all the time. Oh, and look at these cells coming up. They're just lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, I can see a couple of bubbles, so I'll just hit it with the heat again. It's a very pretty little bloom. So while those cells are developing, I'm going to do a wreck through the edges with my bamboo skewer and I'll just use the smaller end. So just literally wrecking is when you're just literally drawing lines through the paint. Look at these. Oh, that's looking lovely. Okay, so here I go. Just a nice relaxing. I love doing wrecking lines. Just how you want to do it. Just go with the flow. No stress. Just enjoying the process of drawing those lovely lines. It's very relaxing. I find it's relaxing anyway. Okay, put a bit of a gap there. Fill it up a bit. Right, so now I will just draw some slight lines in just to define some um, petals, which you can do or not do, would look nice either way. Just looking for a natural line where you feel like a, a petal would be. And that also just creates these nice feathery lines coming through. Right. Well, I don't know about you, but I am loving that. I'm just going to spin it out very, very slightly. I'll give it a bit of a heat gun first, so to bring up some more cells. So I hope you can see how lovely this has come up in the middle here. Now I could do a little balloon smash um, just to give it a nice little center, which I like to do. Um, so I've just got a balloon. I'm just gonna give it a very light tap in the middle. And that just gives it a really pretty little center. Always wipe the balloon between um, smashes, otherwise, you can end up making it very muddy in there. So we'll just give it one more little tap, just gently. 
there. And I really like that. Okay, so just a very slight spin. I don't want to spin it out too much because um, I'm really liking what's going on there. And I'll just do a very slow spin. And a very slow spin the other way. I haven't got too much paint on there, so this should dry nicely, uh, which is one of the advantages of not having an actual pillow under your bloom. If you've just got the normal thickness paint, you don't have to um, spin as much off. And as you can see here, where the metallics are transparent paints, um, you can see the black with the, um, in this case, it's the copper over the top of the black. And it's, it's like looking through um, a translucent window through to the underneath. And I love that effect. Okay, just another little spin. Tiny one. And that's going to do me. Okay, so I don't know um, what you think about that, guys, but I really love it. Um, I think it's very, very beautiful. I might just do another couple of little lines here. I just like to come through here, bring a bit of that down. Maybe another bit through here. And maybe one through here. Okay, so that's it for that one. I shall bring you down. Oh, I can see a little bubble there. I'll just hit that. I'll bring you down now for a close-up um, so you can see um, all the detail there. But uh, they're certainly very, very pretty. Okay, so I'll be back in a sec. And make sure that you keep your edges completely covered which these have been and always after you've set the um, tile up onto your little cups or whatever you're using make sure that it is a level surface um, prior to you doing that of course and make sure you wipe off any excess um, from underneath because if there's drips coming off those drips will continue to pull paint off your canvas or tile and when you come back later, your composition will be totally different. So always make sure you do that. Okay, guys. So here we are back again. And I'll just take you in for a close-up. This is going to make a beautiful truet. Absolutely gorgeous. I have done a set of coasters like this before uh, for a lovely lady who lives up in Queensland, Glenda, who has um, asked me several times to do different commissions for um, coasters for her and that's the first time I tried this technique when I was work, doing some work for Glenda um, but this is the first time I've done it in the larger size and um, it's turned out absolutely gorgeous look at those cells and as you can see here this is where the transparency comes into it where you can actually see through the paint to the black below and our nice edges and the little balloon smash in the center there okay so I hope you've enjoyed that today everyone I certainly enjoyed creating it um, if you'd like to let me know what you thought of it down in the comments that would be lovely and I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much to those of you who already have. Um, and if you do like this today, if you'd like to give me a thumbs up and keep encouraging me to do more, that would be excellent. I'd really, really appreciate it. Okay, so until I see you all again, stay safe and happy painting. Bye bye.